What's up guys, this is Grassroots at ProjectETel.com. Now, in this series we're going to be talking about how to write a script for D2NT, specifically for uh, Project ETEL. Um, I'm going to already assume that you are familiar with JavaScript and the basic functions. I'm also going to assume that you have access to the internet and therefore Google and can look up um, basic functions or um, things that you have questions on uh, related to JavaScript itself. We're not really going to dive into JavaScript very much in this series. This is basically going to be organization of the bot and actually how um, the bot runs and, and uh, we're going to dive into some internal functions from the core. So that being said, let's jump right into it now. The core is basically a list of a gigantic list of functions that um, edit game memory and uh, find things for us, give us our you know for example our area ID um, which will tell us where we are on the map let's say we're in cold plains it'll give us that um, so that's basically some of the stuff the core does of course it does more um, one of the main things the core does is it it runs something called spider monkey now what this is is it's basically um, allows C++ to run JavaScript files and actually use the core um, in JavaScript. Um, this is similar to how your browser does um, HTML. Now, when we run this, our executable, this is basic, our basic user interface, our, um, our basic u user interface, the manager, whatever you want to call it. Um, so now, now when we click run, type our password in, all this information that we have, all this configuration information, is actually stored in d2ntmanager.cfg, which is a config file. Um, so all this information is stored in here, um, except for our password. Now this, um, of course, for the sake of security, so nobody can like hack your password, this only is stored into a variable that is destroyed when this exe is um, uh, terminated. Now what happens when we run this, we type in our password, we click OK. What happens is this will run the specified file that we have here, the entry point the starter file, ntbotorig.ntj. Now in the new version of Etel, um, it used to be called ntbot. Now in the new version it's ntbotorig because um, I think they were messing with oog, which is a completely just confusing stuff, you know, so don't even worry about that. What we're going to be running out of is ntbot ridge. Um, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to call it ntbot from here on out. Um, now I actually have it open already. Um, so basically, we click uh, run, brings up our password. Now it loads this file. Um, this will basically deal with everything we do um, when we are not in game. Now this, as you can see here, this while statement, and don't worry about any of this, guys. Um, we're just going to go over the basic of how it works. So basically, this here is a the the while statement. This runs in a constant loop, um, and when we get in game, it loads something called ntbotgame.ntj. Um, this I actually have it open already. Here we go. Now, ntbotgame will also do the same thing. It'll load a bunch of other files and um, load our scripts, load our character configs. Etc. Etc. Um, this will deal with everything we do in the game. So it is similar to NTBot, only it's um, when we're in game. Um, so this will basically allow us to uh, chicken out of the game, allow us to uh, run scripts, do anything we really need to in the game. Um, it'll uh, drink our potions and stuff. Now most of those functions are not actually contained in here they're in contained in other files or, or, or other classes if you will um, and those are all loaded and referenced in here now what happens is this will eventually load our character config which I actually have open here now our character config is basically um, just a gigantic list of uh, things we can toggle set to whatever we want. Um, a lot of these, as you notice, are actually array elements that we are adding to the script. Um, so that's why everything that says ntconfig script underscore or dot push um, and then the file name, that basically tells us what script we want to run. Um, so now, after this is running, it's going to um, also look at other files um, such as, it's gonna, let's go in here. 
So, okay, let's walk through it real quick. We go Intibot Ridge, then we go in here, Intibot Game, which also loads our character config, which we happen to have right there. Um, now, from there, we're going to... Intibot Game is also going to load stuff from here. Um, these are all of our boss scripts in the bots file. This is basically anything we want the bot to actually do in game. Um, this is, I guess, this is the action folder, if you will. Now, um, you know, into Diablo, we'll go to Diablo for you. Now, these, of course, have dependencies. Um, these basically all reference things from libs. Now, what libs are are basically um, just a bunch of it's basically like an extension to the core. It's basically just a bunch of classes that allow us to do um, very specific things. So NT attack, um, everything in this file, let's open it up, everything in this file deals directly with actually attacking a monster. Um, it, we have things like fine target, clear level, um, you know, anything that we really need, um, we will ever possibly need in the bot. Um, and of course we are still adding new things to this every day, but um, this is our basic stuff, you know, clear position, um, and, and in here we have a lot of flexibility to what we want. Um, so that's basically what the libs do. Um, a lot of a lot of the functions you call are actually in reference to a lib, which is also going to reference the core. Um, so for the sake of organization, uh, this makes a lot of sense. Um, so then from there, uh, we really don't have much else to get into in this video. There is the logs folder, which basically we don't use this as much as we should, um, but is very useful um, when we want to is very useful when we want to print out stuff to a text file or anything and it doesn't have to be in this folder though it is a nice um, nice concise place to have everything alrighty that will uh, conclude this episode um, stay tuned for more um, next we're going to be talking about how the scripts are actually organized um, we won't get into excruciating detail just yet, but we'll talk about the basics of the the D2NT script. Um, and, you know, that's it. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Peace out.